Prophet Muhammad said, We the prophets of God are brothers, and the likeness of me and the prophets before me is like that of a beautiful building with one stone of it missing. I am the final prophet and the final stone of this building. Most people know Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the prophet of Islam. They don't fully understand the implications though. People mistakenly think of Islam as the newest major religion. That's not true. Islam is the religion that our Creator, God Almighty, Allah in Arabic, revealed through all of His prophets and messengers. Allah sent a chain of prophets beginning with Adam, including Nuh, Abraham, Moses, David, Aaron, Solomon, and Jesus, peace be upon them all. Every nation has had a messenger sent to them, all with the same message, worship Allah, the one true God alone. But why all the prophets? Previous divinely revealed books were revealed only to the people of a particular prophet. Allah entrusted their preservation to that particular people and they gradually made changes that distorted the meanings. So a new prophet had to come to clarify the message and correct the distortions. Allah, God Almighty, sent Prophet Muhammad as the last one, this time to all mankind and for all time. Think of it as the final installment. The appearance of the last prophet was something of importance, and so it shouldn't be surprising that he is mentioned in previous scriptures. The Quran confirms it. الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الرَّسُولَ النَّبِيَّ الْأُمِّيِّ الَّذِي يَجِدُونَهُ مَكْتُوبًا عِنْدَهُمْ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ What means those who follow the messenger, the prophet who can neither read nor write, that's Muhammad, whom they find written with them in the Torah and the Gospel. Despite the fact that the books of the Bible, as they exist today, have been altered and changed, passages that indicate the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, are still found. Prophet Muhammad's mission was one of mercy. The ultimate mercy was calling mankind to worship our Creator, the one true God. This mercy extended to all aspects of life, and it's apparent in the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him. He said, regarding enjoining mercy, the most merciful has mercy on those who are merciful. Be, be merciful to those who are on earth, so the one who is in heaven will have mercy on you. Regarding loving your brother in faith, he said, None of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. Regarding the believers being a single body, he said, the likeness of the believers in their mutual love, mercy, and compassion is that of a body. If one part of it complains, the rest of the body joins it in staying awake and suffering fever. Prophet Muhammad's mission of mercy began in his hometown of Mecca. He faced the challenges that previous prophets faced. His people ridiculed him and accused him of madness. Despite this, the prophet proclaimed his message in Mecca. For 13 years, those who answered the call were mistreated. The prophet, peace be upon him, and... And the Muslims were eventually forced to migrate to Medina after years of suffering, struggle, and fightings. The disbelievers, Islam prevailed. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, died in the 11th year after Hijrah. His mission to guide humanity 
continues. It has brought more people into the pure belief in one God than any other prophet. You would expect such praise from Muslims. So what do some non-Muslims have to say? Michael Hart said in his book, The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential person in, in, in history, where he put Muhammad, peace be upon him, at number one. He said, I chose Muhammad to be the top of this list because Muhammad was the only one in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular level. The Englishman George Bernard Shaw wrote a book called Muhammad, which was burned by the British authorities. He said, I have studied his life and found him to be extraordinary. I have reached the conclusion that he was never an enemy to Christianity. He must be called the savior of humanity. I believe that if a man like him were to assume the ruling of the modern world, he would succeed in solving his problems in a way that will bring, bring it much needed peace and happiness. The beauty of Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad's teachings, his mission, and its lasting effect on the world is just a part of the beauty of Islam. Now discover it for yourself.